Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to parse or serialize or deserialize the JSON data using the data transform. Everyone aware of what is JSON data and what is the purpose of JSON data? Nowadays, everyone is talking about the JSON data, especially in the PEGA integrations. Because we are getting most of the times from the integrations as a JSON response. Now, how to parse the JSON response or how to serialize or deserialize the JSON response using a data transform? and we will also explore the JSON option in the data transform. Now, for this, I have created one test activity. I'm just giving one example. I'm not integrating into any integrations. I'm just creating one test activity. In this activity, for example, this is my JSON data. This is my JSON data. Assuming that this JSON response is coming from a different system or from an external system or from a uh, another uh, source or from another integration etc so might be any reason but i have a this json response but time being and as of now i have hard coded this json response this is the json format i have a this json and i want to convert uh, this json response or this json string into an object the pega object object in the sense page page is nothing but a collection of properties and values for that what I am going to do. So this is my param.json data and param.execution mode. These two are mandatory parameters when you want to parse or deserialize the JSON data. So what is meant by this serialize and deserialize? Serialization is nothing but a converting an object or a page into JSON or a deserialize means converting a JSON string into object or a page in Pega. Okay, now what I am doing, I am deserializing. That means I am converting the JSON string into a PEGA page, PEGA object. So for that, uh, I have defined these two properties and click on apply data transform. I just created a one map cust and I selected this pass parameter page. Now click on this map custom. Now here, I, I, I'll do one thing. I'll create one activity. Uh, sorry, I'll create a one test data transform again so that you can understand map customer. Okay, open. I'm going to create a new data transform. Now here you have to select this JSON, not clipboard. You have to select this JSON and click on create and open. Now here there are two types of options. One is an object, another one is array. Array is used to convert into a page list. But directly object is used to convert into a page. So I'll, uh, I'll make a different video for arrays. But as of now, I have selected for object. Now here what I am doing, I want to convert uh, this. I want to convert, oh, sorry, what is this here? I want to convert this JSON string into an object. See here, this is a key and this is a value. That means all these customer ID, customer name and customer salary are becomes a properties and these A123 Suresh are the appropriate values. Now, here what I am selecting, auto map all the data. That means automatically all this data is mapping is happening automatically you no need to map it explicitly for example if you select auto map all the data and click on say okay that json data is converted into object automatically with appropriate properties now run this test activity click on run Now success, open the clipboard. Now here I'm using the standard thread. What is the primary page? This one, run record primary page, SBI int fetch details. Now see here, customer ID, customer name and customer salary. Please remember one point here, these properties are not automatically created. See when you, if you want, when you click on this customer ID, property did not created by the PEGA, that means during the deserialization property is not created but just it is only appearing in the clipboard it is only appearing in the clipboard property is not created when you open in the clipboard 
see this one property is not created that's why what you have to do in the map customer auto map all the data if you want you can create all these properties manually before that if you want to you can create all these properties manually before that because pega did not create any any properties in fly that means during this deserialization pega did not created these properties remember this point now if you want you can change it also instead of auto map all the data you can select it if you want you can map to any clipboard property for example i am mapping i can map any data i can map to any properties whatever the properties if i want to map it i can map it auto map means automatically mapping but here if you want to map it explicitly you can map it and what is the json value the json value is customer id what is the property here okay for example uh, uh, message for example this is the message customer id is mapping to this message property check out like this uh, if you want you can convert uh, uh, json string into object similarly there is another option here there is a page and if you want to convert the page into the json string you can use a serialize option not deserialize okay so i hope you understand this video let me run this quickly okay success open the clipboard now open the run record primary page okay what happened did not did not did not save i think it did not save try it map customer message save okay because if you want to map it explicitly so try from your end thank you